guys, I'm Sharon Backman for CNET.com with an easy guide to customizing your own Firefox keyboard shortcuts and mouse gestures. With these tricks, you can do things like make Control K close a browser window instead of Control W, or zigzag your mouse to open up a new tab. To make custom keyboard shortcuts, install the customizable shortcuts add-on from the Firefox add-on site. When you restart Firefox, head to Tools, then Options, and click the new tab to the right labeled Shortcuts. In this window, you can start customizing your keyboard shortcuts. Just double-click on any shortcut you want to change and type out the new key combination on your keyboard. For example, I'll change Undo Close Tab to Control Shift Z. When you're done, hit OK and test out your new shortcut. So now, when you close the tab by accident, Control Shift Z will open it back up. Gestures are a little different. They let you drag your mouse in a specific pattern to complete an action. For example, dragging your mouse to the left will take you back a page. To start using gestures, you'll need to install the all-in-one gestures add-on. Search for it here, install it, and restart Firefox. Then head to Tools, Add-ons, Extensions, and click Options next to the new add-on. Head to the Gestures Customization tab and you'll see a full list of mouse gestures. For example, down left minimizes Firefox, which means that you right-click your mouse and drag it down and to the left. The add-on already has dozens of preset gestures, but if you want to create your own, just select a shortcut, click Edit Gesture, and type in the new motion you want to use. Or click Draw to draw it out with your mouse. You'll notice that by default, a red line is drawn each time you perform a gesture. To change the color or remove the line completely, head back to Options and change it here in the first tab. Now go ahead and customize your shortcuts and tell me about any other cool Firefox add-ons by tweeting me. And for more awesome how-tos, visit howto.cnet.com. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin, and I'll see you on the interwebs.